Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line dedicated to this or any watch you see here on our channel, our website, or our social media. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model launched in 2005 and famously worn by Prince Charles of Britain. This is the Parmigiani Tour Chronograph in pink gold, 40 millimeters in diameter by 12.9 millimeters thick by 48.2 millimeters lug to lug with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. This timepiece is exceptional in every regard, representing an early example of a Parmigiani chronograph and an early Parmigiani featuring a Zenith El Primero movement. So this is the fascinating era before Parmigiani became a fully integrated manufacturer, combining the best of Parmigiani style sensibility with Zenith running gear. Throw it on the wrist 16 centimeters in circumference. It's a comfortable watch to wear, and you can see that the teardrop tucks of the lug ensure that the case wears well and easily on a small wrist. I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. And you can see with the tiers of the toric bezel designed to effectively represent a compressed Greek column, that's the idea. It easily slides underneath a dress cuff. Now the timepiece is comfortable, traditional, but it doesn't look like a vintage watch. It's a bit more idiosyncratic and individual than that. It's distinctively Parmigiani. You can see that the watch features a light brown strap with a gloss finish, a large rectangular scale alligator leather, a monotone stitch, and then sheer sided construction showing the layers of leather. There's also bolstering to add some volume, and you can see calfskin on the bottom, and you can see that this is a new Parmigiani factory strap in outstanding condition. A simple matching toric coined buckle. The pin buckle itself is substantial, handsome, Parmigiani manufactured, and again, it echoes that compressed column profile of the bezels. So if you were to take a Greek column and compress it down into a flattened surface, that is what Michel Parmigiani was trying to achieve with the toric case. And I have to say, overall, success. It is a good-looking watch. It's also a sophisticated one, as the construction of this case could not have been simple. If you look underneath, you can see there's a guild signature. So this would have been built old school by one of the Swiss construction guilds, um, or at least a guild member. And it would have been guild member 361. That, that's the guild number. So you can see that there is a welded lug construction, whereby the lug was made as a separate piece from the case and then the lug was welded on with all evidence of the welded joint at all four corners removed to create that ultra sharp break between the case band and the lug. That's tough to achieve with machined or stamped cases. This one was built the old-fashioned way. Separate parts welded together and then entirely hand finished. As you can see there's a lot going on here. The compressed column profiling can continues on the case back as there is a remarkable amount of symmetry front to back here as the coining and the twin tiered bezel is echoed in the reverse side. Now the dial features extravagant guilloche and this is real rose lathe guilloche. As you can see this engine turned dial featuring radially arrayed Roman numerals including a watchmaker's four sunken registers. You have blue hands for chronograph minutes and chronograph seconds, as well as your constant seconds and chronograph hours. And then you have lovely broad gold hands for the hours and minutes. There's a Parmigiani gold applique satin finished name crest, and then a frame for the date, which, and I mentioned this watch is a little bit idiosyncratic, but the date is placed between one o'clock and two, which I happen to love. Now, if you look carefully, you can also see that the font used for the date is absolutely delicious. This is a El Primero movement, so you pull the crown out all the way to activate the quick set, which you can clearly see it has. The serifs, the open sixes, the open nines, these numerals are exceptional. They're gorgeous. And again, this is a modern watch that's designed to evoke the finest traditions of yore. So the watch is an El Primero, which means it beats at 36,000 vibrations per hour. It doesn't have hacking, it does have the quick set, and because of that 10 beat per second rate, it has a smoother chronograph seconds hand. Turn it all over, you can see the Zenith Caliber 400Z. You can also see that there's a rose lathe turned red gold rotor in here. And the red gold of the rotor is actually more intense than the pink gold of the case. But you can see this engine turning, just like that used on the dial, is extravagant, intricate, and handsome. You'll also note that it's a 31 joule movement, and uncommonly for an El Primero, it has five position adjustment at Parmigiani. In general, these Zenith movements don't always boast five position adjustment. It is going to beat away at 10 beats per second, automatic winding with bi-directional winding action, 52-hour power reserve, and of course it is a column wheel 
and lateral clutch chronograph. So you can see the column wheel interacting with the levers and the horns of the chronograph as well as the clutch. The clutch withdraws and comes back into contact. Lateral clutch chronographs aren't necessarily as modern as vertical clutch, but they are more beautiful and more desirable from a connoisseur's standpoint. That's why the more expensive Patek chronographs are always lateral clutch and the mass-produced ones are vertical clutch. Thanks to the column wheel system, you have a crisp actuation, which means you really feel the start and the stop as well as the reset functions. It's just a little bit more tactile, more pleasurable to operate than a cam or shuttle system. 30 meters water resistance, so it's not aquatic timepiece, but then again, you have other watches for aquatic endeavors. This is extraordinary. A timepiece, again, worn by the Prince of Wales himself. This is one of Parmigiani's all-time greats, and you get Zenith along for the ride. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.